All right, everybody. So we asked this question. Well, actually, we, Andy Hackers asked this question. We answered this question earlier this week on Twitter here, or X. And um, what's your stack? And we're getting a lot of interest in this. So I wanted to take a couple minutes here, and we'll see how far we get in actually creating this application here. That's going to give us uh, these Google Lighthouse scores or uh, Google Core Web Vital scores. Um, yeah, so let's get started here. So how would I build an application today? Um, so I generally like to start off with Cloudflare. The benefits of Cloudflare is you get their edge distributed, like their distributed edge, uh, their edge distribution kind of content network. Your pages load very, very quickly. Um, and I also like the, the islands architecture. So the islands architecture is you're using, you know, technology like Astro for your builds and you're using solid JS for any interactive kind of UI that you need to have there. What that allows you to do is Astro is going to allow you to send a minimal amount of JavaScript. So it really kind of just defaults to sending the HTML and the CSS and kind of the pages and stuff like that. And then only in those cases where you actually need like a you know, button on click um, or where you actually need some JavaScript, you can kind of single out the components in your, in your UI that need that interaction. It just really allows for highly performant web pages and stuff like that. So let's get started. Let's build this pet. So we're going to start off, I'm going to start off with the Cloudflare CLI and uh, see if I can make that a little bit bigger here. So cool. Yeah. So we just do EPM create. That's uh, already kind of out of the for me here. Cloudflare. Let's see if we get the latest. And then what should we name this app? We'll name it, uh, as it be here. Uh, yeah, I've come up here from sunny Buenos Aires. I've been here for a couple months. Uh, generally, we, we live in Minneapolis, Minnesota, but uh, we like to spend, my wife was born here and stuff like that, so we spend some time on here. So, let's get started. Uh, what should we call this app? Uh, Earth Web App. All right. Oh, and then it's just kind of going to give you some questions here. We are building a web app or website. We are going to use Astro. All right, we'll include the starter files. We are going to use TypeScript. It's strict on that. We do want a new repository. I'm just going to build for us. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy some mud time. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Houston. And the cool thing about this is it's gonna, it builds the whole application for you. It's even going to give you the opportunity to deploy it as well, too. So we're going to start off with our application already deployed. I'm going to start off with another Mate. I highly recommend Mate. I find it better than drinking cups of coffee. It's a more sustainable stimulant. You don't kind of have like the, the big crashes and stuff like that. Okay, cups of coffee. Pouring your tea. All right, so this is the thing, right? So here we want to deploy our application.
There we go. We are live on, on the internet, folks. So that deployed that to uh, the name of our application as a subdomain and the pages that dev, which is kind of the defaults that Cloudflare creates there and stuff like that. And let's just kind of, I know we haven't really added much, but let's just take a look and see where we're at right now. Let's run that. Oh, and the one thing about the Google Lighthouse, though, is, let's throw that in there. You want to run it without any extensions kind of in the background and stuff like that. So I just run this test with uh, incognito. So we don't have anything else. Uh, Causing issues there. So right off the bat, we're starting pretty good. Now I know that we haven't added anything, but right now we have a website. Uh, we have a website that is deployed live on the internet. So you can go visit there and stuff like that, and we're getting top scores. It's a pretty good way to start off. Well, let's add something here too. So we call this Perf Web App, not Perf Website. So what do we want to add to this? Well, we can go to Astro. We can look at their integrations. And then, uh, yeah, so these are the official ones here. So if we wanted to add, uh, I will generally add, I usually add sitemap. It's really good for SEO. We don't have this. We don't have this yet. Yeah, let's go to TV. Oh, you know what? It does that there. Like this one. So you can use these at the Astro CLI as well, too. We'll just do that. And then it'll kind of set up some of the extra things for you. The sitemap is just going to well, create a sitemap for your application. So it's going to kind of identify all the pages that exist in your application um, and make those more readily readable for, uh, for Google and other search engines. Cool. So that's added. Uh, what else do we want to add to this? Another one generally, so yeah, it, Tailwind's not required. Uh, I do like Tailwind though. So we'll get that going. I find the benefits for me with Tailwind is having the kind of the shared and defined class names. Uh, it just makes by reusing components, you don't have to be like, okay, it's like border or red border or green border. Like you, you don't have to worry about what the name of the class name is and stuff like that. The class name is already defined. It's a pretty good system. I know there's other systems like Beam and, and you know, other ways of doing that. So I'll generally do the Tailwind. And then what else do I like to add? I think that's mostly it. And so, yeah, so if you need interaction, um, we can just go ahead and add it right now. Although you may not need interaction. Um, you may not need solid. I like to use solid. Um, the benefit of solid is uh, it goes into the signals. And so you kind of have the, you know, you don't have to, when you update, like you have kind of these signals that are used and you, you can kind of, um, You don't have the you don't have the reactivity of React. Um, you know, with React is every single change that happens, it kind of goes and you know, runs the the virtual the nodes of the virtual DOM and checks to see if there's any differences, um, and it makes those updates in the UI instead of having to like run down the virtual DOM every single uh, with every single change. We can really just kind of have that fine grain and it's like, okay, well, this button and this counter are connected to each other, and so we only need to check to see if we need to. We don't even need to check up the the button, the counter. You click the button, and then the counter updates and stuff like that. That's nice. All right, cool. So I think that's good. Let's um, see if there's any more dependencies you want to add. I think that's mostly it. Yeah, that's it. So just to recap, the only things I've really added so far is the sitemap for SEO benefits. Tailwind for the Tailwind class names and si uh, CSS and styling, and then SolidJS. Um, and that's mostly it. Let's go back to our application here and see if anything there. So I talked about, uh, so we have Astro right now, we have Cloudflare. Um, we'll set up Superbase uh, in our database and also handle our authentication. We have Solid, uh, we built it with Solid Script. So right now, uh, just 10 minutes into this, counting the build time and the deployment. Um, 
you kind of have everything here. Let's switch these. Oh yeah, you're right, because I have not connected to a repository. So let's go create a repository. We got Cool. All right, boys and girls, you can see a refresh. There we go. That's mostly it. Uh, but let's do a little bit more since we're here. All right, so then to run it, we'll use the uh, class there commands. Uh, so uh, to run the develop environments, we're going to use pages deploy. I'm sorry, no, nope. uh, pages dev. Pages deploy would be then to, to change that and, and push that up. So let's start off with dev. Let's get down to VS Code. Oh, we got here. All right. Now we can go to so source pages here. Um, yeah. So if you haven't really worked with Astro before, uh, it's pretty cool. So basically, you start off with these .dot Astro files, um, and basically this is just HTML and CSS. That's it. Um, it's kind of what the defaults to setting to the client. Uh, if there's anything that you want to do kind of on the server, there's these kind of three dashes here um, at the top and then the bottom. It kind of starts the beginning and the end. Um, this is kind of where uh, you know, anything that you need to do on the server will kind of run and stuff like that. Uh, and then they also give you these layouts for kind of what would happen on build anyways. And yeah, you can kind of add your metadata here as well too. Uh, don't get too much into that. But um, oh, you know what we do? Let's add. Let's add a database. 